Yum, yum, yum. Today we're making caramel and walnut tart. This is kind of stretching, um, you know, my confidence in doing something like this. I don't really understand sweet cooking, but Thermomix has really given me um, the, I guess, confidence to just try things. So what I'm doing is using the sweet uh, pastry recipe from the basic cookbook. It's really easy to follow um, and a, you make the pastry and then put it in the fridge to rest for about an hour. I do find that the basic cookbook recipe makes a significant amount of pastry so you can actually just use half the recipe if you like. So the tart that we're making today is a walnut tart. It sounds absolutely beautiful and I think it's the combination of all the different types of sugars and honey and glucose that actually makes this really taste beautiful. So ingredients for our recipe today, we have the um, items for the sweet short crust pastry, which is flour, salt, one egg, vanilla, and some sugar. Oh, there's also butter, which is in the fridge. It's good to keep that chilled. So I might just get that now. The rest of the ingredients for the filling of this include flour, brown sugar, raw sugar, eggs. Um, we're going to just use the egg yolks of one of them and two full eggs. Glucose syrup, honey, and walnuts. If you can afford to buy some of the full walnuts, um, they're going to look much better because this is the presentation piece. So you make the mixture and then the walnuts just sit on top of that when it goes into the oven. So they, I imagine, will go nice and candied. So we'll kind of pick through here and pick out the full beautiful ones. They're like flowers, aren't they? They're really amazing. We're just going to follow the guided recipe. So those of you lucky enough to have a TM5 will know what I'm talking about. Um, 100, 100 grams of sugar. Our sugar is milled. We're going to add 200 grams of butter pieces. Then we want 370 grams of plain flour. One egg. One and a half teaspoons of vanilla powder. Look at all those beautiful beans. We want to make sure they go in. One pinch of Murray River salt. Now for the tart filling, we've got 30 grams of butter, 30 grams of brown sugar, 15 grams of raw sugar, we're going to use 155 mils of honey, 115 mils of glucose, two eggs and an extra egg yolk, and 20 grams of flour. We've got our walnuts that we're going to pick through and pick out the really nice full ones for presentation that go on top. And we have our blind baked and cooled tart cake. Okay, so getting onto the filling, we just put the 30 grams of butter in and melt. Once we've melted all of the butter, we then squeeze in the honey and add all of the ingredients. So the tip is to use a wet spoon when working with glucose. For five seconds, speed three. And I did it twice. Now what you do is you just pour this into your blind bake tart. really quite difficult to say blind baked tart and then we're going to decorate with walnuts and put it in a preheated 180 degree oven so this tart has been in the oven for probably two or three minutes longer than it needed to it was golden and delicious but um, you might want to take it out a little bit earlier I ended up cooking it for around 30 minutes so I would Keep checking after 20 and see how you go. Serve it with some beautiful vanilla ice cream or some fresh berries on the side. It's not too sweet. It's very delicious. Everyone's going to be really impressed. If you like our videos, subscribe to 3Band Mixers. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram too. See you soon.